Hey guys, how's it going? Well, if you watched the last video, which was the 2019 PA plot I prep video, you'll notice that uh, nothing around the simplicity has changed, and that's because uh, it's minutes uh, later from when I filmed that. <laughs> but the point of this is the Simplicity 7117 is going to get her own video here, which hasn't happened in quite a few years, at least from what I could recall, which who knows. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, jack the front end up here, and we're going to remove the front axle and spindles and everything, and we're going to do a mod that is referred to as poor man's power steering, which I found, oh boy, that looked like quite a bit of slop there in the front end. Anyway, I found through from a YouTuber named, uh, referred to as Zippo Varga, who is a very knowledgeable individual when it comes to the Simplicities and Alice Chalmers garden tractors. So I will put the link to the, his videos in the description. But to do so, we're going to remove the front axle. And uh, once I get this jack stand in here and set the tractor down on them, I will show you just what we're going to do, which actually, actually I have to run back out to the shed and grab the parts. But let's set this down on the stands. There we go. We'll remove the jack. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take these spindles out and we're going to remove the shims that are in there, which I hope they are still in there. Oh dear. We may not be able to do this mod because the <coughs> spindle needs to be nice and flat and I see mine's very well worn. Oh dear, that was not what I wanted to see. And I already ordered all the parts to do this. Well, son of a gun. Well, we can still do this. I'll just have to fill all that groove in there with weld. And uh, which you can kind of see and file it flat. But basically you take the the uh, th thrust washer that's supposed to be in there out and you put a smaller one, a needle bearing, and another thrust washer. And basically it's supposed to simulate power steering, make it steer much easier. But, uh, well, I guess we'll take this apart and uh, see what we're dealing with. Doesn't look so as good as I thought. All right, stay tuned. Well, that definitely isn't what I wanted to see when I removed the wheel rust which appears just to be flaky rust off of the inside of the wheel but the wheel bearing is stuck fast and uh yeah so we're gonna have to get that off i think these wheel bearings might be okay i'll have to remove this and inspect it after i clean it but uh yeah, definitely not what I wanted to find. Hopefully this is not stuck. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, we're gonna need to do quite a bit of welding in there, I do believe. And then too, how damaged is the end of the axle because of that? Ay, ay, ay. While I'm to blame for some of this, I'm not to blame for all of this because that's not going to happen in the 10 years that I've owned this and used it lightly. So, oh well, it is what it is. We're going to move on and fix it. But, uh, oh, I see that uh, some other stuff is coming apart. Well, I guess it's a good thing I'm doing this now and not later. Anyway, we're going to take this apart and see what we can do. Well... I hopped on Craigslist there and I found an ad for a guy who's not too far from me and he has some parts. He has a 7014 that he has in pieces, but he says he has the front axle there and I'm hoping that it's in better shape than at least uh, that garbage. So we're going to go have a look here shortly and uh, we'll see how we make out. Hopefully we can walk away with a decent front axle so i hope anyway but heck maybe if the uh tractor's not in too bad a shape maybe we'll go away with that anyway guys uh stay tuned
Much gooder. That ought to do. Now we just gotta get it out of here. There's a replacement axle, and it's uh, in a lot better shape. The ends of them aren't peened over like uh, on that one, but we're gonna we're gonna make sure that they're pretty square. And uh, I got Zippo Vargas video playing that uh, this is part two, part one and two links are in the description. Pause that real quick. Basically, we got. 60,000 thrush washer, needle bearing, 30,000 thrush washer with uh, reliefs cut in so that grease can get down to the needle bearings. And we're gonna put some grease on that before we assemble it. And then I slipped that one in already and uh, man, it turned around like no tomorrow. So we're gonna get this put back together and uh, shoved in the tractor and uh, well, shoot, I just got to thinking. I don't think I'll have to make sure that I can get this uh, seal off without destroying it and this bearing so I can put it back together. Hopefully I can. Otherwise I'll have to get new ones, which ain't a big deal. But uh, I think another thing we're going to do Well, that's just lovely. I was gonna say, maybe another thing we'll do is drill and tap a hole so you can put a grease fitting in there and grease it, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough room. Well, anyway, enough bullshit. Let's make stuff happen. Well, as you can see, simplicity's all back together. The uh, poor man's power steering seemed to help. It's not like, ooh, power steering but it did seem to take some of the friction away and so it is easier to steer we got our weights on there now i serviced the transmission and boy what a difference did that make new filter and new fluid which i just used a cub cadet hydraulic transmission oil fluid sorry and uh wow that really brought the transmission back to life it was getting kind of lazy and sluggish and uh now it's pretty snappy at least compared to how it was so uh yeah we got about i think two one day shy of a month till plow day and the only things we got left to do here are build the hitch check it over and I'd like to put a new fuel gauge cap in it. And then this one's done and ready to go. Heck yeah. And then the Cub Cadet. The bull ones and the Sears. There's the bull ones. Done. There's the Sears. Done. They're ready to go. The Cub Cadet. I just got to look it over, grease it, and change a couple of the... They don't have it right down here. Hang on change drag link ends which i'm waiting for those to show up in the mail they're supposed to be here tomorrow so that's all i got left to do for plow day all the plows are ready two of the tractors are ready the other two are almost ready right on and simplicity finally got its own video for the first time in god knows how long but here shortly it should be stirring and plenty more videos to come. Anyway, I've rattled your ear off enough. I appreciate you watching. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, until next time, take care.